finally, after over a year, I'm going to be doing part three of Our Wolf Daughter. So if you haven't seen part one or part two, as well as the original by Mira Grace Studios, I will have them all in the description down below. Hey there, my name is CJ, and this is the story of the day that changed my life. I lost all my memories of my past life at the age of seven, and then I moved in with my half-sister Cassie and half-sister Melody. My life always felt the same, but I couldn't help but feel that something was going to happen. And it did. Ugh. Morning, guys. Hey, CJ, can you tell this butthead that my cookies aren't up for breakfast? Todd, oh, don't call your sister a butthead, even though she totally is one. Oh, that's Melody, Cassie's half sister and I's adopted sister. She's a wolf, and I may or may not have a big crush on her. Cassie, help! He's bothering me. No, I'm too comfortable. <laughs> Boys, stop bothering Melody. You're going to be late for school. We should probably go. Have fun at school, kids. Now that the kids are gone, you know what we can do. Yes. <laughs> Play Minecraft uninterrupted. Yes. Have fun, fourth grade eye. Bye. Hey, CJ. Hey, Ash. Hey, Jewel. Anything new? I got the new Xbox. Nothing new with me. I'm the same. You guys are the same. And your ugly sister is watching us. Uh, hey, yo, don't talk about my sister like that. She's not even your full sister. Well, she's my half-sister, and that's enough. Whatever. See you guys in our usual spot. Wait for me. <laughs> you got something you want to say? Just back off, Joel. Go practice those lines in a mirror or something. Come on, Cassie. Huh? Uh, yes, sir? Today's the day, kid. Make sure the other two are distracted. Then grab the demon. Yes, sir. I'll make sure Ash knows. Remember, the back alley at 4 p.m. Today? Really? I thought we'd have more time. Huh? Me too, but we don't have a choice. No, I want them back as much as you do. And this is the only way to save them. I know, Joel. I know. Hey, guys. No lunch again? No, I wasn't hungry. You're not hungry. <laughs> Good. Because we have a tutoring session. What? Sorry, dude. You shouldn't have failed science. Now, come on. <laughs> Good, CJ. <laughs> I totally shipped them. All right, remember. Four o'clock, the back alley. And then we're free. Okay, just be there. I don't want want to do this to her. She doesn't deserve it. <sighs> She's not what he's made her out to be. So, do you get it? For the most part. Good enough, I guess. Uh, Melody, can you tell me something? Yes? You know how I lost my memory? And I didn't even remember Carver being my dad? Yes? I filled you in on this. Well, I just wanted to know. How bad was I? Really want to know? Yes. Uh, I, I, I was a monster. CJ. I was horrible to you. I was horrible to Cassie. It's not your fault, CJ. You didn't have a good influence. Cassie didn't either. But she turned out fine. You turned out fine too. But what if I never lost my memory? What kind of person would I be? That doesn't matter. You lost your memory and now you're here. But that's not why you're like this. You were taken in by our family and they gave you a second chance and a better example to follow. So you're just naturally a good person. Funny, kind, sort of smart. Are you being nice or indirectly insulting me? <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> Anyways, my point is, you're a good person, CJ. And you don't have to worry about Carver anymore. So stop moping. Uh, thanks, Melody. We're going to the cafe. Wanna come? Nah, I have to pick up I and go to art class. But you two enjoy yourselves. See you at home then. Let's see, it's 4 p.m. Better go pick up I. Um. Oh, heck no! Uh, don't make me do this! Fine! <sighs> You think you've had too much coffee? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Come on. We were supposed to go home a while ago. Hmm. The caller you've reached is unavailable. Please leave a message. Cassie? Cassie, are you there? I know you're getting these, young lady. You better call me as soon as you get this. I don't know why she's not answering. Or why she didn't pick a bye. Well, wherever she is, she is in so much trouble when she gets back. And where have you you two been? Why does CJ look like that? <laughs> Coffee! We just went to the cafe together. 
Is something wrong? Cassie's not answering her phone. And she didn't pick up I from school. That doesn't sound like Cassie. Maybe she's lost and her phone is dead. I hope not. Can you two try calling her? Sure. You don't think anything bad happened to her? Anyone heard her? Then those two people will be gone today. Because I'm very worried right now. <laughs> uh, you there, Cass? Mom and Dad are super worried. And they're freaking me out a little. <sighs> Just... Call me when you get this. It's so unlike her to ignore my calls. Maybe her phone is dead, just like you guessed. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Can you track her using my phone? Yeah, I think I can. Smart idea, CJ. Hmm. I found her. But I don't know this address. Take a screenshot of it. Okay. Huh, that's weird. Tracker just stopped. She must have turned her phone off. She doesn't want us to find her. Or someone doesn't want us to find her. <gasps> uh, let's go show Kai and Aya. We tracked her location to here. Hmm. That's weird. She's at the abandoned metalworks. What? Why would she be there? Something's not right. Let's go get her. Okay. You two, get the car started. Kai, let's go. Okay, we're here. Let's split up and find Cassie and get out of here. I don't get it. Why would Cassie be here? I don't think she chose to be here. You think she was kidnapped? Let's move. Cass. Cassie. Melody, I feel like we should stay quiet. Okay. Uh, Cassie! Uh, Cassie, who did this to you? Why are you so pale? He, he's been testing on me. Who? <laughs> me. Uh, it's good to see you all again, Joel. Ash, some assistance, please. Uh, what do you want from us? Don't be so selfish, son. I only needed her. Don't touch her. Back off. No need to push, son. I'm not your son, says the child who dyed his hair to look like mine. Says the child who changed his name to Carver Jr. Says the child who followed my lead so blindly. You must be my son, because you're just like me. Uh, ah! Don't listen to him, CJ. But everything he said is true. No, it's not. I've seen the kind of person you really are. You're funny and kind. And yes, incredibly smart. You're nothing like him. So please, stop doubting yourself. That's enough. Uh, she clearly doesn't know the real you, son. Uh, this is the real me. And this is how I feel about you, dead. Uh, you two, help me. We can't. Carver has my little sisters. If we disobey him, he'll get rid of them. He won't be able to. Now help me. Uh, Joel, go find my parents. And what are you gonna do? I'm going to help my boyfriend. Uh, uh, wait, uh, think about this. If you do this, you'll be just like me. <laughs> uh, you're right. I can't do this, but he can. Uh, uh, why am I in a hospital? Where are the others? <gasps> um. <laughs> Miss me much? You were out for three days. They had to replace your heart. How do you find a donor so fast? Joel. Uh. And when they found Ash's little sisters, Joel decided he owed you for everything. And I still owe you. It's thanks to you I got these two back. You don't owe me anything, Ash. I would have done the same thing in your place. Still friends? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Life wasn't too much different after that. I brought you a taco. No surprise, Melody and I started dating. Though we were surprised about who Cassie ended up with. <laughs> but we were all really happy. And I finally felt like my life was my own. I even changed my name to Cameron Joel after Joel. And so I could still go by CJ. I don't know what our next adventure will be. But you know what? I think I'll be just fine. Thanks so much for choosing to be a teacher here, Mr. Aldis. I'm super excited to teach here. And we're excited to have you. I'll let you get situated here to teach and find the wolf girl they've been talking about. <laughs> the wolf people will rise again as soon as I find more, whether they want to or not. Today is your first day of school, and I expect you all to make a good first impression. What other impression would we leave? A human-shaped one in the gym wall? That was a 
an accident. It's not my fault. The wall was there all of a sudden. That's not why we left anyway. Well, let's just hope the school is more protected this time. So we don't have a repeat of last year's incident. Carpers, gone. There's no one left to hurt you. Now, will you go to school? All right. Come on, guys. Do you think they'll be okay? I'm not sure, Kai. But I hope so. You must be the new kids. I'm Mr. A, but you can call me Aldous. Nice to meet you. Wasn't there supposed to be someone else? Yeah, actually. My girlfriend Melody's also here. Melody? Hello? Uh, come on, Melody. <laughs> Welcome to our school. I'm sure we'll all just get along splendidly. <laughs> Have you seen Ash around? He's in my math class. Are you gonna meet up after school? No! When are you guys gonna do anything together? I want nephews. What the? Uh, you okay, Melody? Hmm? You haven't said a word all lunch. Sorry, I just... <sighs> That teacher, Mr. A, he seemed wrong, was looking at me. I felt like he was looking right through me, into my soul. Melody, I won't let him hurt you. I felt that too when he looked at you. Jealousy? No, anger. <laughs> How was school? Fine. That bad? Oh no. I finally found the wolf girl. Now I just need to find a way to trick her into coming with me back home. Hmm. There's a school dance coming up. I could trick her. <laughs> I just have to keep her boyfriend away, and then she'll be all mine. A few weeks later... Alright kids, I have an announcement. Remember that tonight is the first school dance of the year. Be sure to look nice. That teacher is like so weird, man. I know, right? Are you guys going? Of course. I hear there's gonna be a DJ food, a bar, and a high school dance. Their decision, not mine. That's like such a bad idea. And I love it! <laughs> My babies are all grown up. It feels like just yesterday we pulled you out of that. Mom! You're making me feel bad. Where are those girls? Probably still getting ready. Girls take a really long time for some reason. Uh, 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 my wolf baby is a big girl now. And that dress is way too revealing. Dad! Hmm. And where's my girl? Here. How do I look? Uh... Ash? Uh, you look beautiful. Shall we go? Let's go! Be careful! And if you must make out... Kai! Ooh, this is so cool! It's kind of loud. That's okay. We can hang out at the patio. Give me some drinks and I'll meet you there. Uh... Okay then. Fine. Uh, Mr. A, what are you doing here? I'm a bartender. Want any drinks? I'll pass. Let's go dance. Okay. I just have to wait until she gets thirsty. And when that boy isn't looking, and that's my chance. And then I'll just have to disappear before anyone notices. Here's your drink. I'm pretty sure it's safe. Thanks, Bay. So, um, uh, care to explain? Explain what? Your eyes. Hi, Cassie. Uh, what are you talking about? You're wearing a contact. And hair extensions. Um, I think you know why I did this, Ash. Because I'm terrible to look at. Uh, Here, look at me, Ash. This is me with all the scars. The cut hair. The eye. No decorations. How can you not be ashamed? Uh, afraid. Disgusted. What? Cassie, your scars are what make you beautiful. They're what make you strong. And you're the strongest person I've ever met. You don't need pretty hair. You don't need perfect eyes. I love you for who you are, not what you are. Wanna stay out here for a little? <laughs> Thanks, hush. Anytime, Cassie. Oh, I'm thirsty. Care for a drink? Yes, please. Coming right up. Here you go. Thanks. Yum. <laughs> Why can't I move? <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> what happened to her? Thanks a lot, Brett. Can you tell the others we went home? No problem. Hey, Ash. Your friends wanted you to know they went home. Why? You'll see. Huh. C Cassie? <sighs> How are you feeling? Just a little tired. Okay, I'll take you home. Hmm. Mom, we explain everything later. Get her on the couch. What just happened? How did I get here? You don't remember what happened? The last thing I recall is drinking something. Who gave you the drink? I'm... My teacher, Mr. A. Is this true? We didn't hear about this. They didn't tell us what happened. Uh, 
Thanks for walking Cassie home, Ash. No problem. Bye, Cassie. Bye. You two get cleaned up. Your dad and I have to do some things. Okay. What are we going to do, Kai? Why is it that when there's trouble, our kids are the ones that are in danger? I don't know, but it always ends up okay. We need to find this guy. What? We need to find him before he finds us, so we won't ever lay a finger on them. What do you say? I say, let's go. Good choice. Better? Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> what happened to you? Kids? Mom and I are going out for a little. Keep an eye on Melody and I, and keep the doors locked. Okay. okay. When are those two coming back? Uh, um, what was that? I, I don't know. I'll go check it out. Be careful. Why do I feel uneasy? <laughs> 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 Mr. A! The one and only. You're a wolf! How is this possible? The real question is, what am I going to do with you? Ah! Cassie! Stay here, I... <gasps> Another werewolf! <laughs> That's why you've been watching me. Because I'm your species too. Yes. Why? Why didn't you just tell me the truth? Because you wouldn't like what I have to do next. The werewolves are a dying species. And in order to keep them from going extinct, more werewolves need to be born. What are you saying? I'm saying I found you. And now we can save our species. Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. I thought you might have that reaction. So I'm sorry about this, but not really. <laughs> there you are. Now I can put you out of your misery and turn to my future mates. Stay away from her. Please, little boy. You're not in the position to tell me what to do. Hmm. You're a monster. I'm a savior. I will be remembered as the wolf who saved my species. And you? I'll be surprised if they even remember your name. We're not not too late, I hope. Uh, just a little. Huh? Um, good morning. <laughs> it's okay, Melody. You're safe now. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I told you they would be too much for you, but you never listened to me. No matter, brother. I won't let this happen in vain. I'll travel east and find that pack that I've heard of. We can use them. <laughs> yes. The werewolves will rise again! So that was My Wolf Life Part 4 of Our Wolf Daughter, a Gotcha Life mini movie by Mirror Gray Studio. So I will have the original as well as the previous episodes I've done in the description down below. Let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you're new, subscribe to Coming Mermaid or Mermaid. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.